Welcome to this e-learning course overview presented by Visible Systems Corporation. This video provides a preview of the material covered in the complete course. For additional information about this course, please click on the link below and you will be redirected to our website with more details about the course. You can also contact us at elearning at visible.com or visit our website at www.visible.com. We're going to talk about software component development. My name is Ronald Leach. I'm affiliated with Howard University in Washington, D.C. and Aftermath Consulting in Baltimore, Maryland. Let's talk about what this course is about. About systems that are built from software components in a systematic way. Emphasis on systematic. This is often called software reuse or just plain reuse. And you'll run into the term legacy system. It's often used for a large, large reuse component. Obviously, something has to exist before you can reuse it. There are several sections in this course. There's an introductory section coming up. Then an overview of the primary techniques we will be using. Then a section on a very difficult characterization technique called domain analysis. Then we'll describe some relevant metrics. Then the measurement of software reuse. Then we'll discuss libraries of usable, reusable software components. After that, we'll consider the certification of reusable software artifacts and explain what certification is. We'll show you a technique using, it's called using reuse to drive requirements. We'll then discuss interaction between components, both at high level and low level. We'll discuss the life cycle cost of component-based software development. Then we'll have a case study with a cost focus. We'll follow that with a, a secondary discussion of cost modeling. Then we'll look at a very special case, the life cycle cost of COTS-based systems. The acronym COTS you'll see many times. It stands for Commercial Off-the-Shelf Software. We'll do a case study in reengineering, a case study, a web component-based system, and then we'll have some references.